And a little update for you guys. Uh, recently just got myself 50 mil attack XP. It's not too bad. I think I just need defense now to uh, to have 50 mil base XP, at least in the melee skills. And I think everything else in combat is 50 mil minus prayer. It's at 40 mil almost now, which is pretty freaking sweet. And uh, where the hell is... Yeah, summoning It's not too high, so meh. And it's time for dailies, the best part of the fucking day, so we'll be back soon. You know what to do. Five or so Araxers, let's do it. And... What? And... Alright, next loot. And the last loot. Uh, that's three times scales, oh my goodness. All right, it is time to do some Wilderness Diaries because uh, I think there's like a hurt patch you can unlock from there. So, uh, yeah, time to get started. I'm just going in the Wilderness with this. This is like the day of release, by the way, or I guess uh, it's been about 13 hours the next day after reset. Um, so I don't know if it's crazy busy or not, but I guess we'll find out. Fucking Harrison, he would. He would. Wait, did I just... Did I just see this correctly? Let me just see this quickly. Where's my bones at? Wait, oh wait, 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 we even have prayer brawlers. I don't know if I want to use them here though, but yeah, because eh, the way the brawlers work now obviously is uh, the further you are, the more like actual XP you get, but it looks like this might actually be kind of like old school. I guess I can move the inventory closer and close this out. Okay, this might work. I hope it does. Can we move this shit? Oh, this fucking Harrison guy's in the way though. He's going to be walking the entire time. Move. Can you... No. Ah, oh, this fucking old... Alright, so it's just an AFK prayer method. I, I, I use two bones on it, I guess, but that's because... Oh, right. Because if it's, a, if it's the last bone, you can just automatically quickly do it the same tick as the last one, basically. But, oh, I thought I got something there. Oh, they should make this so you can actually do it, like, manually. Uh, like, it is kind of on old school. Um, that would be much more prestigious to actually do it here, but this is fucking useless. I'm gonna see what prayer brawlers would actually do here. I guess why not? Just because, um. Yeah, what the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this is gonna be. If I was furthest outside the wildy, uh, with like the Dragon Rider M and all that crap, uh, I guess something good XP drop, but let's see if this gives me a thousand or is it gonna be 750? What the hell is that? Oh, that's. Okay, that's stupid. At the very least, they should try to somehow make this give you work with brawlers and stuff but it doesn't because it's i guess there's like burners here that are lit or something i don't really know but what a fail this could have been so much better this has got to be the dumbest requirement an achievement diary has ever had just pull the levers and you just keep running to the next one what the hell why why what in your right mind said this would be so fun for the players to do to fucking run up north and south to pull a fucking lever the board that what the hell is this well cool i'm not sure if this teleports you too i think it might be the herb patch oh, okay teleports yeah herb patch so it's pretty cool i don't know if this is an unlimited or some crap but i guess we'll see what the hell is this this is, is this rdi or is this wait this is elm this is, what the hell is a herb patch at elm are you kidding me that's oh my god so something that i was told but i have not yet done yet myself apparently around the bandit camp there is a guy that sells bronze but you need to be sculled apparently to actually uh, trade him or some crap so it's my first time doing this i have no idea i might need to bring like a little shitty weapon to kill those little bandits though uh let's bring a sun spear and make sure i have some pea pots because this is like 600k if i lose this okay yeah. let's go that kind of scared me. I thought these were characters, but these are just the bit. I don't think this was like this before. Wait, what the fuck is it? Dude, these guys all... Okay, just look for a white dot on the map. That's the only way that it's going to be someone else. So, I don't know who the fuck sells broads here. Uh, is it here? No. Right, what the hell is this guy? Oh, there's someone there. This guy sells dough. Okay, or pizza shit. Um, wait, is a fishing something here? What the hell? Oh, you can fish something here now? Is that what that is? I don't even know. Oh, okay. Here's the guy. Oh, this makes sense. Yeah, here's the broads. Okay, so it's this guy. He looks... He's in, like, black... Oh, that was a task. Um, he's in black... Wait. 
Okay, why is he wearing a dark blue? That looks like a character, dude. Okay, wait, there's a white dot? Okay. So if you're ever here, just look for the white dots in the map. I think it's the only way you can actually tell what they are. Uh, so yeah, here's the broads. And I guess you get these things for sale. That sucks, I just made my ceramic not long ago. Oh, that's annoying. Um, okay, so it looks like you could make your ceramic and whatnot for a bit cheaper now. Uh, you can buy that stuff from here. And there's these things here, which I'd probably have to buy later on. But all right, cool, that's a pretty cool store. Not bad, let's get the fuck out of here. It was a case you're kind of new, like those uh, three items at the bottom that were 450k, they're normally 500k at the actual uh, normal characters you buy them from, or NPCs. So yeah, a bit on sale there, but obviously if you get PK'd, you're gonna lose them, because I think you have to be scald, like I said, to actually trade that guy, so. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that though, that's just what I was told. Uh, you can scald yourself from this guy right here. All right, so this is actually one of the biggest deals for an Iron Man account, is you can buy an extra 3,000 broads a day now, which is about 45k to 50k fletching once you actually make the shafts and the headless aerials. So that is an extra 1.5 million fletching XP a month, which is like almost 20 mil a year. So it's a big difference. And as far as that stuff goes, uh, here is my current bronze sets and then headless arrows and feathers and whatnot. So, yep. Though this will probably change a bit for Iron Man that are hardcore. I don't know if I'd risk going in there. It really just depends on if you want to get 200 mil fletching on a hardcore Iron Man, but um, I don't know, I guess you can go with like a friend. I think it's single around that area, I'm not too sure if it's not. Uh, just double check. If it's single, you can basically just box you and your other friend together and probably trade the guy. I'm not too sure, but and that stuff should be illegal though, I'm not going to lie, for especially for hardcore Iron Man, but um, I don't think Jax will ever ban people for doing that. But I wouldn't be surprised if they revoked your hardcore status, to be honest, and just made you regular Iron Man or something. But anyways, let's go. Anyways, returning now to the diaries, I took like a day off and did other stuff, but um, yeah, I haven't done anything besides uh, just the easy, so medium, hard, looks like I can do them all, so I guess I could just knock this all out in a day. There is the warbands ones that you have to do, but I'm not sure if you need to do that in Iron Man, maybe it's just not here, or it's something else you gotta do, uh, probably instead. Right, I'm not too sure why people are doing this, but a lot of people are bringing like a tier 90 into the wilderness and just doing these diaries and stuff, or tasks, whatever. I don't know why, I know a lot of like of my friends that are part of the Warbands community have PK'd countless of Nox weapons. The fuck are you guys thinking bringing a Nox weapon just to kill like a Chaos Elemental? Like, are you high? And our lovely herbs died. Perfect. Didn't really bring anything for this, but gotta kill this anyways. I like how I said don't bring a Nox and an Ivory one, but hey, I do Warbands with a Nox anyways. I'm used to this, but someone that doesn't know what the hell they're doing, uh, yeah, don't skull, first of all. And if anyone comes near your map, just stop doing combat because your AoE will probably hit them. But anyways, I have to do a Slayer task here quickly, kill like 30 of these and then I can get the hell out of here. I fucking would get an RDT. Wait, what? Is that two RDTs in a row? Is that normal? That was back to back. Look at the time. There was six seconds in between. Is that, is that what's so good about these things? Does it normally drop a lot more RDT? What the f Right, so I'm gonna definitely have to record this again in my video, but uh, one thing I just realized is I have to wear the sword to do this, but anyways, um, I recently just finished the medium diaries, which is all I really wanted for right now, because um, this agility course has been reworked basically, not necessarily how you actually do the course, but just the XP that you get from it. Uh, if you complete the Willy Diary uh, medium, you will get more XP from the course. I'm not too sure exactly how much it is. It feels like it's over double or some crap, it might be even almost triple, but um, on top of that, if you wield a sword, you get even more XP, so um, don't make the mistake I just did for the past 30 minutes, I didn't know you had to wear the sword, you get a bit more XP. Uh, I used to get 1,447 or 1,471 XP for completing the lap, with the sword it's like almost 100 extra XP, so um, yeah. Anyways, with that being said, this is actually now the best agility course on the game to do. It requires medium diaries for the uh, wilderness, which I don't think is very high requirements. But it's probably not smart to have a familiar because you can't use a talent scout guy if uh, you have a familiar. But I just thought maybe it'd be some PKers here because this is still kind of uh, fresh on release, sort of. But yeah, I haven't ran into any yet. So um, yeah, don't bring a familiar, just bring like a full envy of food and whatnot. But should be good with that. Uh, but I'm going to check to see what stats you need roughly for this uh, sword. I'll just move it over so you guys can see this. This is for the medium diary, so literally just 52 agility, 55 cook, literally 50 stats, and then 67 hunter. So very easy to get the task, or the, the skill requirements for this task, so shouldn't be an issue. 
Uh, in terms of level three, I guess a level three can do this. I don't, yeah, you can do herb on level three obviously as well. So I think a level three can do this. I don't know if they can wield the sword though, but um, they can definitely do the diary and that will give you the extra XP from this course. But then again, level three is like, they just use silver hawks anyways on mains. Unless you're an iron man and then you're level three, which is extremely uh, prestigious, then yeah, I guess this is still good for you. Anyways, without the sword on, I was averaging 152k XP an hour, I think, and I was told with the sword on, it's like 180k an hour, which uh, I guess seems roughly accurate. I'm not too sure. It's a bit more XP for every course, uh, every obstacle, I guess, and then like 100 plus XP at the ending. So um, probably is near at least 160 to 180. Uh, I don't know exactly if this guy tested the rates. He was probably just told that was the rate, and uh, everyone's just going off of that now. But it's anywhere from there, I guess, as long as you surge here. You save a few ticks every time. But anyways, uh, currently that is my Jode XP. I've done exactly 100k XP here so far, um, and it's it's quite nice. This is like this is the course where I trained quite a bit of my Jody uh, way back in the day, getting to level 70 for the freaking blue dragon. Uh, obstacle thing there so I can kill blue dragons and uh, that was like one of my highest stats fucking agility but this is a huge relief this means you don't have to worry about half an hour anymore for an Iron Man unless you still want the prayer XP it is a bit less agility XP per hour obviously doing half an uh, but you do get the free agility or the free prayer XP so it's up to you if you want that I don't really need to worry too much about prayer uh, plus I do have enough money to not really have to worry about that crap anyways, but um, yeah, cash stack is not far from 900 mil. I can't wait to hit a bill, man. One bill cash stack will be so amazing to get that on the Iron Man. Um, I'm not too sure how many Iron Man have. I wish there was not a high score, but I wish there was like maybe Jax would say which Iron Man, not which, what their name is. Oh, you failed search. Um, what their name is, but like what amount of cash does an Iron Man have as the most cash for any Iron Man account without saying the actual RSN obviously for security reasons, but um, I don't know exactly if I'm up there or not. I haven't had any friends that have... Who the fuck is texting me at this time? Um, I haven't had any friends that uh, have said that they know anyone that has more than this. So I'm pretty happy about it, but I'm sure there's some PVMers out there. Obviously, I spend a lot of time on skilling, not on trying to make GP. Don't fucking... Oh my god. Anyways, with the sword off, it was 1691 XP each. I'm going to see how much it is with uh, uh, clear... Okay. I'm gonna set this XP to one mil more. 51, 2, 8, 9, 8, 4, 0, 7. So, yeah, let's see how much XP we uh, get now, and uh, I guess we'll see. It was 1691, so let's see this. And here's the finishing XP. So, uh, 1765, yeah. 1765, so yeah, it's roughly about 100 XP more per lap. A little bit less, but yeah. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. All kinds of gains in this Metafucking Beach.